there is never a start or a stop to crop farming. Stewardship for the land and management of equipment is an all year round job. Let's take a look into the work that a farmer has to do to raise healthy quality corn. The corn cycle starts in the spring when seeds are planted into the soil. Around mid-April, you can start to see farmers and tractors pulling their plows and planters through the fields. Plowing or ripping a field first is a great way to loosen the topsoil and prepare it for the incoming corn crop. There are many different sizes of corn planters. This specific planter has 24 rows and is highly automated with precision ag technology. Modern machinery like this allows farmers to be extra specific on how far apart the corn is planted, how deep it is planted, and how many plants will be growing in one acre of soil. Proper spacing of plants allows optimal growth for each individual plant, which provides an overall better crop, healthier soil, and is most efficient in using natural resources. The planter can only hold so much seed, and each seed box needs to be filled up. To keep the planter running at maximum efficiency, a seed cart comes to the field when the seed boxes start to run low. The seeds are covered in a powder that is growth promoter and a pest deterrent. Seeds are at their most vulnerable during germination, and this simple topical is a great help in getting the plants growing and off to a great start. For an additional boost, a small amount of fertilizer, similar to miracle Grow is applied directly to the seeds as they are planted in the ground. Once the planting season finishes, the farmers are busy caring for their crops. The application of fertilizers and pesticides is an important task. A few common methods of applying fertilizer is by injecting in hydrous ammonia, distributing urea, or spreading manure. Applications of manure normally take place during the off-season, while anhydrous or urea are distributed while the crops have already started to grow. The maintenance of irrigators is also an important task during summer months. Proper management allows farmers to efficiently use water, ensuring that little to no water goes to waste. When the corn is finally grown and golden, combines and the crew head to the field to start harvest. As the combine breaks down the corn plant to its individual kernels, the grain cart keeps up to ensure the combine stops as little as possible. The grain cart then moves corn to the semi-trucks that then move the corn to where it is dried and to be stored. When corn is harvested, it sometimes has too much moisture and needs to be dried. Once the corn has proper moisture content, it can then be sold to the grain elevator or stored in the farmer's bins. All of these steps of corn harvest and storage must be done with care to prevent damage to the kernels. The value of the crop can drop if kernels are cracked, broken, or too dry. As harvest rolls to the finish line around the end of October, machinery is cleaned and stored for the off season. During the winter, farmers still have a great deal of work to do. Hauling corn from their bin sites to the grain elevator takes many days to complete. They get up early in the morning to fill up their trucks to then drive to their partnering elevators. There, the truck is weighed and the corn's moisture is tested. The corn is then dropped into grain pits and the farmer is set on their way to load up their next trailer. This process leaves the bin empty and ready for the next season ahead.